We've got a new moon on December 12th of 2023. This one does feel a little bit more classic Sagittarius. So this is one we can get excited about. Let's get into it. Okay, so this new moon is occurring at 20 degrees of Sagittarius in 40 minutes. It's going down on December 12th, 2023. This happens to be at 6.30 p.m. in my time zone, but definitely adjust for yours. So yeah, Sagittarius season started off pretty heavy, right? And at this point, we do have Mercury in Capricorn keeping, keeping us grounded. Um, but this is a lunation at the very end of Sagittarius season that feels a little bit more classically Sagittarius, where we get the elevation, the optimism, a little bit of indulgence going on too. So let's let's take a closer look. So this um, this new moon, it's separating from Mars, so it's almost like the strife. We're getting a little bit more distance from it. Hopefully, I mean, I'm recording this um, of several weeks in advance here. So it just seems like maybe that's the case because the rest of the chart doesn't feel as Marsy. <laughs> so maybe there's a little bit of reprieve going on here. Time will tell, but we are in a square with Neptune and Neptune has just recently stationed direct at, um, at 24 degrees of Pisces in 53 minutes. And so, yeah, we're still right there at that station degree. So rather than make a video about Neptune station, I thought I would just talk about it here. Um, so yeah, the cool thing about Neptune stationing direct here is that it's gonna make a beeline for 29 degrees of Pisces, which is gonna reach in the summer. So on, um, July 2nd, 2024 is where Neptune will then station retrograde at 29 degrees Pisces. So we're going to get all the way up to 29 degrees. That means that our time with Neptune in Pisces is starting to come to a close, beginning with this direct station here on December 6th. It's so wild. I know we're always so focused on every other planet except Neptune. It kind of flies under the radar. We're so focused on Pluto concluding its journey through Capricorn that we forget that little Neptune at 25 degrees of Pisces is almost the end of its journey as well. So that's an interesting one to pay attention to. We are nearing the end of that one. We'll be talking more about that in the coming year, I, I'm sure. But that's just something to keep in mind in case you have planets at the late degrees of mutable. So we're feeling Neptune in this lunation for sure. Neptune can make us spacey. It can make us want to check out. It can definitely perpetuate some avoidant tendencies, some fantastical thinking. You know, Neptune just wants to take us to a better place, a faraway place. So one where there isn't pain and suffering. Um, Neptune is also going to provide a sense of divine discontent where we just feel at a loss for some of the things that feel so much bigger than us. There can be a sense of overwhelm with Neptune, but there can also be magic. There's a transportive quality here. And I think that we will be feeling that here where there will be some intentional numbing going on because we're in party hardy Sagittarius land with a square to Neptune. So it's, this is kind of an adventurous seeker. Let's get out of here. Let's get away. Let's get above it. We don't want to feel that anymore. We need to kind of change the vibe, change the mood up a little bit. We're seeking magic with this. We're seeking connection with this new moon and the new moons tend to be quieter. So creating like a magical haven for yourself of some kind may be part of the vibe. Taking it a step further, now the sun is going to come into an exact square with Neptune on the 16th of December. So this is something we're gonna be feeling here for much of the month of December is this Neptunian influence going from that station on the 6th to the new moon to the square on the 16th. And we also had Neptune at the previous full moon too. So it's just a lot of confusion and overwhelm and 
wanting to check out. <laughs> and it's not always possible, but we try with Neptune. Now, the other piece of this puzzle is Jupiter is going to be ruling this lunation from the Earth sign of Taurus. Now, this is a sensual sign where Jupiter wants to take us to the next level of enjoyment. So this is something where we, what I'm thinking is Jupiter in this opposition with Venus is going to say, let's treat ourselves, let's have a luxurious experience. You know, when Venus and Jupiter meet up, it always encourages us to treat ourselves, to savor the sweetness of life. And with Venus in detriment in Scorpio, a couple things here. One, Venus does not want to let go of the thing that's good. Venus knows what's good. She knows she has a good thing when she has it. And that's why Venus and Scorpio holds on so tightly when she knows something's good. She doesn't want to let the moment pass her by. So she's going to say, screw it. Let's do it. Let's treat ourselves. Let's take it to the extreme. Let's take it to the next level. And that's where you do want to be careful with this aspect is the tendency to overdo it because Venus in a Mars sign, there can be the tendency to like go so far towards the experience of pleasure and enjoyment that you end up hurting yourself in the way. So like, it's like, drinking too much or spending too much and then having that oh shit moment hangover afterwards so you want to watch that a little bit so indulge responsibly but even if you do kind of take it to an extreme what's also happening here is that mercury in capricorn is stationing retrograde at this moment and mercury in capricorn the, the retrograde here is saying, let's come up with a plan. Let's get it together. Let's focus. Let's focus on the things that are distracting us and get away. So you have some conflicting forces here. We've got Mercury, which is saying, let's focus. Let's get our act together. And you have Neptune saying, no, I don't want to think about that serious, boring stuff right now. And you've got Jupiter, Venus saying, let's get in our bodies and enjoy. So maybe we kind of have that moment where we need to kind of just really indulge our our soft animal body uh, for a moment and then mercury stationing retrograde in capricorn says all right all right now like we had our moment and now we need to focus now we need to focus 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 so yeah there's a little bit of conflicting energies here but they will kind of fit together nicely because they're not separate they are connected so perhaps one informs the other or Mercury in Sirius Capricorn says, this is the plan and I want to get there, but I can't starve along the way. I need to like have something to keep me going. So let's, let's make it worthwhile. Let's make this moment worthwhile. The other thing I really want to highlight here is the financial component. So Jupiter and Venus are in an opposition. This aspect was exact just a few days ago on the 9th. This is likely going to highlight um, this polarity that we've been working with through eclipses of the haves and the have nots and how expensive things have become. And that may play a, an important role in this lunation as well. Um, yeah, so pay attention to what's developing on the financial front, both for you personally, but also what's going on in the world because Venus is in detriment here. So there's this awareness of, of what I don't have. Um, yeah, Venus in a Mars sign is very aware of what, what she doesn't have and the adversities against her. And that's also sort of the motivation for savoring the good thing that she does know she has. So yeah, that's those are some things that we can expect to see cropping up here around this new moon in Sagittarius on the 12th of December. And for right now, that's your astrology shot of the day, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For a deeper look at how the planets are lighting up your life, you can book your next astrology reading with me, and we'll take a deeper look at your progressions, your perfections, your solar return, so that you can go forward with a greater deal of confidence and preparedness about what lies ahead. I look forward to connecting with you, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.